get ready with me for the day. I don't really know what I'm doing, but you guys wanted to know what products I use, so I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Everybody is here for this get ready with me also, so. What? I washed my face already, and next I'm going to use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Drops <laughs> and the Drunk Elephant Bronze Drops. Is your face gonna glow? Next, I'm gonna use the Pore, I pore Primer for by Benefit. And I, I want some of that. <laughs> And I only use it in my T-zone and a little bit on my chin. My T-zone. <laughs> Two um, foundations that I mix together and use are the Lancome. I don't know how to say any of that. The MAC Pro Longwear. Okay, finally, everybody has gone back downstairs. Anyway, today is Sunday, and usually I use today to make my recipe or my menu for the week. Iron out all my recipes and then go get all the ingredients at the grocery store. So that's what we're doing. So please ignore my lips. I got lip filler on Tuesday and they are still bruised. Next thing I use is Max Mineralizing Skin Finish Natural Powder uh, just all over my face. For concealer, I use NARS. On my last two videos, I got a lot of questions about my lip filler. And thinking of doing a little bit more of an in-depth conversation with my injectors just to answer some questions, just because on Instagram, I got a lot of questions too. This is only the second time I've gotten my lips done. The first time I got them done was two years ago. And then I waited a little bit because they hurt really bad the first time I got them. And then by the time I wanted them again, I was pregnant. So the first time I got my lips done, they hurt really, really, really bad. And I almost passed out. It was really the worst experience ever. And I swore that I would never do it again. And I just really, really wanted them. So I took a chance and did it. And it was like a complete 180 from the last time. So I'm glad I did it. My contour is Fenty Beauty in color Mocha. What my injector does is she did half of the syringe in my lips and then she waits two weeks for everything to like settle and heal and then I go back and she does the rest. This time I numbed for like 30 minutes and my whole mouth was numb. I felt like I was drooling but honestly I'm glad I did it because the pain level was literally not there. Like she couldn't believe that I wasn't flinching when I was so nervous because of how bad it hurt the first time. <laughs> They need under eye powder, so if you guys have any suggestions for that, can you please let me know? Blush is Rare Beauty in the color Encourage. So I get my eyebrows laminated, but I still feel like they're super sparse. So I just fill them in with the Benefit um, Precisely My Brow Pencil and brush them up. If you know my wife and I, you know that we were super last minute. So literally yesterday we decided to uh, book a vacation for next week like a week from tomorrow. So we're gonna be going to Myrtle Beach and staying for a week. So let us know what you guys like to do in Myrtle Beach. And then I just put the uh, Anastasia brow gel. Last time I did this, you guys freaked out because of my eyeball, but obviously you need to curl your lashes. Get dressed. Sloan's back. The mascara I use is the Roller Lash by Benefit. I also used to put white eyeliner on under my eyes, but I realized I'm too old for that. I and then I just set it with the MAC Fix and Stay Over Spray. This takes me back to my middle school days, so I'm putting concealer on my lips. But um, these bruises are not it, so I'm just putting whatever's on my beauty blender on, and then I'm gonna put on my Pillow Talk, talk lipstick. And that's it for makeup. Um, I usually just hit it with the brush too. And now for hair, but I only wash my hair like once a week. All the other days I use a ton of dry shampoo, or I'll put my hair up into like, this little part into something, so. And I also, like the day that I wash it, I use the Dyson Airwrap. So it's like still pretty curly. And then I just like, this is what it looked like when I woke up. Sometimes I'll recurl it with my curling iron. This, this is very old too. This postpartum hair is not it. I look like I have two horns. It's literally making me crazy, but I guess it's growing back. So I'm just gonna wear some lemon leggings and a sweatshirt. This is it. I'm just gonna put on some socks and then I'll be good. Also, everybody always asks me if I do my hair and makeup every day, and I do, every single day. Um, I work from home, so I don't like to feel like a bum. So I get up before the girls wake up, but usually in the morning on the weekdays, and um, I do my hair and makeup just to make me feel better. So I hope everybody has a happy Sunday.